Hurricanes. Hurricanes. I get it. I get how it. they form is really uh, you know how they form. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if people know that well, each of these low pressure systems that build up in the in the in the South Atlantic, they each get named yeah. alphabetically, oh. alternating boy name girl name. So oh. that's how you know how deep into the hurricane season you are, right? The storm season by how far down the alphabet you've gone. Wow. And so, I, do, you, do you think people know how they're formed? I, I can. No. I can, Go ahead. Okay, I need an Earth. You're gonna, uh, you. The only there one. it goes. Oh, I'll look at that. <laughs> any planet you want is yeah, here. Any of the eight planets, get over it. Okay. So, uh, we all know Earth rotates. Right. And on the equator, they actually rotate faster than anybody else. Their makes speed through space makes, is faster. Makes sense. Because they make a day's trip uh, like everybody else does, but they've gone 25,000 miles. Okay. And anyone else has gone less. Less. All right. That's fact number one. Fact number two. Let's throw a low pressure system in the Atlantic, mm -hmm. and you're a puffy cloud. Which way are you going to go? You're going to push me north. North. Yeah. So all the system will push you north mm -hmm. towards that low pressure system. Right. And I'm an, and another puffy cloud, north of the, the low pressure system. Which way are you going to go? I'm going to go south. You're going to go south. So the low pressure system attracts all clouds. Right. Oh wow. Calling all clouds. So there they go. Now. That if that kept up, they would just sort of meet in the middle. Right. But that, that's hey, not what's what happened. Up? That's How a, you doing? That's not what happened because everybody has sideways motion. Right. And I'm a cloud south of that low pressure system, and I go towards it. But wait a minute, I have speed that will overtake it. Right. Because I'm going sideways faster than it is. Okay. It'll overtake it to the right. Right. Now you're above, and you're headed towards it. You're gonna fall behind it, to the right. Oh. And that creates a circul a general circulation of all weather around a low pressure system, and that's what we call a storm. And so, Chuck, it probably makes sense that if you repeat this in the southern hemisphere, everything is going to move in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. So storms in the southern hemisphere actually rotate clockwise. And that would mean a storm on the equator wouldn't know which way to rotate. You've that's, got a storm-free zone. It's a storm-free zone. Nice. Okay, there you go. So, Chuck, the fact that things circulate in this way with clouds from below overtaking and from above falling, falling behind. behind. Uh, that was studied by a guy named Coriolis and it's called the Coriolis force. Ah. So it's not really a force, but it looks like there's a force pushing things. And that's what happens when you're on rotating surfaces. And not only that, how do you get a cloud in the first place? You need moist air that's unstable, which means it'll rise. Right. So if you have moist, rising air, it's colder up there than down here. Right. You know that? Have you ever been in an airplane and look at the temperature outside the plane? Not very pleasant. No, it's like 40 below zero. Right. Because all the sunlight passes through our transparent atmosphere, hits the ground, and the ground heats the 